Visit abbaeservices.com for fast medical transcription service. This podcast episode is brought to you by AB Music Creative. This episode is brought to you by Dr. Lourdes Capolong. How long did you do it? Three years? So I did that tour for three years. And then after? And then after, and we opened here at the Amundsen. Yes. Um, and then I went back on tour again with another tour of Miss Saigon. A couple years, or like seven years later, I did another tour of it for another two, three years. So, and then after that, I did like maybe six or five or six more regional productions. So all in total, yes, I did the show, Miss Saigon, from 1992 to 2013. My Kim is legal, y'all. She's 21. <laughs> she can drink. Um, so I... <laughs> Um, yeah, a lot of my friends used to tease me that I like was the Carol Channing of Miss Saigon. Carol Channing, who like did Hello Jolly for so many years, or like the Carl Anderson of Miss Saigon. My God. <laughs> it paid the bills, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm very, very grateful for that show having um, having been a huge part of my artistic life. Were, you, were there were there nights that you didn't want to do the show? Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, eight shows a week. You have to live like a monk to be able to. Like, no life. No life. No life. I mean, bikini dress. Bikini yeah. dress. I mean, so that and that's why. They, oh yeah, then you you, you you couldn't have a you. you have yeah, to, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, no. You had to look sexy for. You had to look a certain way. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, what was the lifestyle like? I, I, I mean, what, what, what were the sacrifices that you needed to do? Because you have, like, you have to understand though, this was my very first professional gig. So uh, I thought this was how it biz, show business was. I didn't have anything else to compare it to. So what was the discipline? Um, it was just do the show and go back to your apartment. Right. Rest your voice. Rest your voice. Um, and th that's why, too, they they typically had, uh, they split the schedule six to two. It's like eight shows a week, right? But you have the six sh show a week, Kim, and then you have the matinee, Rest, Kim. Okay. So oh. I was the matinee, Kim, for like the first six months. And it was Jenny Kwan. Um, shout out, Jenny Kwan. Shout out. Um, who left the show because she got uh, offered California Dreams. Do you remember that show, California yes, Dreams? Yes. Saturday morning. So she left to do California Dreams, and then they bumped me up to the main Kim. Um, and it was literally like on the job training for me. Like wow. I didn't know stage right, stage left, downstage, <laughs> upstage. Like those basic things is what I learned doing Miss Saigon. Have, did, did, <clears throat> and, and like, you know, just having a strong work ethic, knowing how to yeah. take care of your voice, knowing how to uh, do a press thing, know, you know, knowing what to say and what not to say, things like that. Um, Is mental block real? In what way? Like when you're on stage, oh my God, what am I supposed to say? Um, thank goodness I never, those things never really happened to me. Um, Have you, did, you, did you ever ad lib? But gosh darn it, you live for those moments when, you're, when your scene partner dies. You're like, oh, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? What are you going to do? What's going to happen? Oh, I know. You don't remember your life. I don't Yeah. I love that. Um, no, I remember doing a regional production of Miss Saigon. This is like not the tour. This is like a regional production uh, when um, uh, the Tam wasn't there for the big scene with, you know, the engineer. The, I'm supposed to come on stage with him. And it was during the engineer's uh, scene, yeah. If You Want to Die in Bed. Do you know the show? Yeah. Okay. So the, If You Want to Die in Bed number. And... It, it, and then I come in, I'm like, engineer, two, he's dead. He was, you know, and I'm like, I'm supposed to have the kid with me and the kid. I'm like, where's the kid? Where is he? Where is he? Like, I'm supposed to be on stage with him in like how many seconds? And apparently he was in the bathroom. And so the, that, the bell tone happened and the engineer was like, just waiting for me. And this, this particular actor who was the engineer had played, um, Scar in the Lion King. Oh, okay. And I swear to God, he like reverted back to his scar 
Because the bell tone happened. I didn't come in with engineer, two, he's dead. He was, you know, and he just like, he looked around. He's like, what's happening? <laughs> I hate Dreamland. Like, I'm like, what show are we in? So my face was like from like horror in the wings to, oh my gosh, what are you going to do? This is so fun. Like, I'm such an asshole. And then, and then finally the Wrangler like brings the, the Tam in and like I, he was in the bathroom. He had no shoes on. Like he like, I could tell like she like barely put up his like pants. He was taking a dump, I guess. So, but it's, I, I live for those moments. I live for those moments. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what are you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Um, Ooh, um, anyway, those are those are nice moments. Those are though. nice moments. What made you leave the show? <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't want to die in a pool of pee anymore. No, just kidding. Um, I have died in a pool of pee. <laughs> I have with the Tams. Just like, yeah. Uh, um. What, what you mean after 21 years? Yeah. What would, what would make you want to be? I mean, uh, because, okay, because you could have, you could have pivoted to, to something else and stay in the company, right? Maybe. No. As, yeah. No, no, no. What are you talking about? Like behind the scene or stuff like that. Yeah. No, I, I, I listen, I, I'm so grateful that I, that I was able to have a long run. I, I think you're the longest. I, I am the longest. <laughs> That's why I'm like, why leave? <laughs> You're already there. Might as well. Because no one else would hire me. No. Um, I thought you were gonna say, why leave? Why did you leave the pandemic? The wow. Pandem <laughs> <laughs> I played it until the pandemic. 1992 to 2022. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, no, I, uh, why did I leave? Because it was time to leave. It was time to leave back. Okay, that's what, that's the, okay. When do you know? When do you know? That it's time to leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, in your case, you finally do. <laughs> when you can't play 17. <laughs> I mean, duh. Hey, but you still, <clears throat> no bullshit. Huh? No bullshit. No, 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 no bullshit. No, you literally. Still, you can still play 17. Oh, you're very sweet. You're very sweet. These lights are really bright. No, put, um, put it in the comments below. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, Every time that phone rang, they're like, okay, here's another production that wants you to play Kim. I'm like, dude, you know I'm like 100 years old. Now. And, the, and like every time I went to sh the production, like my Christmas kept getting younger and younger. I felt like fucking like Demi Moore. And I was like, what the fuck? It's like, pedophile kid, okay. <laughs> <laughs>